You were watching me craft three $1 million god bows in Minecraft, so enjoy. I think these are all separate Minecraft portals. At least that's what they look like. Hold on, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different portals inside this room. Emergency plans by original. <laughs> I have no idea who original is. We've also got this, an energy cell used to power special items. Emergency plans. In case of emergency, place this battery in the corresponding generator. The backup generators can only keep the system powered for so long. This must be done ASAP. Literally, I have no idea where to drop this. I'm just going to yeet it into here. Oh! Oh my god, that's sick! Generator connected! Because we powered the main generator inside of here, this portal magically opened up and is ripe for the picking. You want to know what else is ripe for the picking? The brand new Preston Styles donut t-shirts and hoodie at PrestonStyles.com. Check it out, baby. This world is very interesting. The trees are made of uh, some kind of dark wood. I've never seen that wood before in Minecraft. Whoa, what is this? Who's Greg? Wait, wait, do I got, why do I have auto jump on? What am I, some kind of pleb? Oh, halt! I'm afraid this is a restricted area for mine workers only. What does that even mean? I am pretty good with a pickaxe. I think I could help. I don't know what Craig is going to respond to that. Hopefully he says yes. I think, oh, we do need some help around the mine. Let me go get you some gear. What is this? We're looking for an ore called the rhodium. If you can bring back three rhodium, I can get you into our supply area. Wait, what did you get? Oh, he gave me a metal detector, a mine cart, and then regular iron gear. How do we even use this? How do I? Oh, whoa, this, wait a second, that is sick. How do I know what is rhodium and not rhodium? No, that's just coal, okay, I don't want coal ore. Oh, look at this, wait, what is that? What is that? Hold on, is that rhodium? So I've got, oh my gosh, wait, is this it? Yo, this has got to be it. Hey, this is it. Okay, we've got rhodium. He only wanted three, but I guess I should go ahead and collect everything here just in case. All right, Mr. Craig, I'm going to keep the other. Okay, let's not tell Craig that we've got extra rhodium. I'm going to give you three. Okay, thank you. You can now have access to our private storage area. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft prisons right now. Feel free to take whatever you need. I mean, we can, does that mean I can just take the diamonds? <laughs> I'm literally just gonna take all of the diamonds. We found the first recipe to getting Sunday's million dollar bow. This is the handmade bow. This, this orange stuff, that's copper wire. And then this is duct tape. So I think there's actually, wait a second. Easy, look at this, boom. Bam, boom, bop, bam, bop, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the handmade bow. Worth zero dollars, as you can see in the text chat. Apparently, arrows don't exactly go where you shoot them and they don't go far and you press F to cause the arrows to return to you. This is basically a troll bow. Oh my gosh, this is the worst bow and arrow. I have, I, I've never fired a bow and arrow this bad. Wait, and if you press F, so now the arrows are coming back to me and dealing damage. This, what a great bow. But the one thing I did get, I got a new energy cell. So I can dump this into this place over here. This should open up the next portal. Yeah, there we go, baby. Okay, so we go in this portal. Would you rather play real life Minecraft or real life Mario Kart? So this is tough. I've got to decide what the majority of Minecraft players would rather do. Would you rather play real life Minecraft or real life Mario Kart? I would say real life Minecraft? Did I? Incorrect. Most Minecrafters think otherwise. Oh my dude, don't spawn a zombie. This bow and arrow won't even be able to kill this guy. Wait, maybe it will. Oh my gosh, I have literally the world's worst. This is terrible. This is trash. Come on, come on, get the zombie. Honestly, better off using my pickaxe. Would you rather never play a game on your computer anymore or never play a game on your console? I would rather never play a game on my console because I play on the computer, but I... Come on, I'm, that's, I've literally gotten two wrong in a row. This is so dumb. Hey, listen, I got a question for you guys. Would you rather subscribe to my channel or leave a like on this video? That's the real question, baby. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, if you're watching this video, you better have done both. Anyways, would you rather have it always be day or be night? I feel like most people in Minecraft would rather it be day. Can I get one right? He did it! Preston managed to get one question right. Would you rather never eat pizza again or never drink another soda? Soda. Pizza is infinitely better than soda. Let's go, baby! Would you rather have extremely muscular legs or muscular arms? Personally, I'd rather have muscular legs, but I feel like everybody else on Minecraft would rather have muscular arms. 
Bailiff, see? See, you gotta get in the head of the other players. I'm gonna give you the good news before I give you the bad news. The good news is, is we answered correctly on the majority of the Would You Rather questions, so we do have the materials required to craft the next bow. The bad news, I don't have a recipe. So give me 10 minutes and I'm gonna figure out how to make this bow. <laughs> Actually did not even take me 10 minutes. This looks like the all-American bow. It's called the children's toy bow. $10, what a value. <laughs> Harmless hit. Arrows that hit hostile creatures deal no damage. Wow, so useful. Decoy arrow. Left click to shoot a decoy arrow that will attract all hostile creatures towards it. Then we have the impactful arrow. Press F to activate an arrow that will knock back enemies it hits. That's actually not bad. It's a little bit better than the other bow we made, but it's still it's pretty bad. F at least it shoots more than one foot in front of me. I mean, I'll take this bow any day over the other one. So I got another, okay, we got another energy cell. Oh, the orange portal is about to be open, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that beauty right there. Oh, dun, dun. Hey, listen, I know I made a joke about subscribing earlier, but real talk, if you ain't subscribed yet, make sure you make that red subscribe button gray, you feel me? And you better enable those bell notifications or I'm gonna be sad panda. Well, I've got no hunger all of a sudden. That's not a good sign. We've got, we got watermelon. What is, oh yeah, love me some watermelon alone, baby. Wait a second, hold on. I'm eating watermelon, but my hunger bar is not going back up, but I'm still able to sprint. What? Okay, well, I've never been stranded on an island before. I'm not Mr. Beast. What if, hold on, I'm gonna use the metal detector. I don't, okay, the metal detector, metal. Oh, whoa, what is that? The metal detector has revealed either a block that is iron or diamond, or that's a chest. I'm going to hope it is a chest. Hold on, I'm gonna get right above it. Yeah, come here, chest. Oh, what is this? There's a wooden plank. Okay, that's not a good sign. Okay, there's another wooden plank. Maybe I need an ax. Okay, there's another wooden plank. Oh, let's go, baby. Fishing rod, mim, whoa. Oh no, oh, this is bad. No, 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 no. Okay, I don't know, oh, I forgot how to use my bow, dude. I forgot how to use my bow. Oh, those are the decoy arrows. So if you press F, you shoot decoy arrows. So that's what they're attacking right now. Instead of attacking, why is my, why are my arrows shooting back at me? If you left click with the bow, it fires like a machine gun and I just killed every single zombie in like two seconds. All right, we got this book. What are these, where did you come from? Where, like literally, where did you come from? I've been stuck here for far too long and explored the nearby islands. Me time be coming soon. I wish I could have figured out what those ruins by the island were. The island off the point were. I leave with whoever finds this chest, my old trusty rod, which is this very dusty looking fishing rod we managed to get. Hey, hey, listen, don't judge me. It's been a long time since I made a boat in Minecraft. I think I still remember how to do it. Okay, maybe I don't. Do I need to, have I forgot how to make a boat? Oh, no, no, okay, I got it, I got it. All right, the boat has been made. I'm not sure, like, I I don't, what the heck was that? A drowned zombie just spawned on me. This is literally when the bows are actually starting to get good. Boom, baby, look at this. Yo, literally these, okay, these bow and arrows have lore that's so big, I keep having to adjust the GUI scale on my Minecraft. Look at how tiny this is. It's so tiny. Worth $100. Your movement speed is half what it normally is when wielding this bow. That sounds terrible. After pressing F, your arrow will split into multiple and automatically target the nearest enemies. I feel like the most important thing we got here was another energy cell so we could go to the red portal. Gamers, every single Friday for the month of August, we're giving away a gaming computer or laptop. All you have to do is purchase merchandise using the link down below in the description, but it's only for the month of August. All the gaming computers and laptops are hand signed by me as well. If you don't like me, you can always sell them on eBay. A village up here. This is so cool. What is this? Yo, what? This is like the dopest thing I've actually ever seen in Minecraft. Is this the, is this the leader? This looks like Lachlan. Hello. Can I help? How can I help you today? I am looking for a bow and arrow recipe. He lives in the... And okay, I, I didn't even get the response I was looking for. The elf just says he lives in the house across the tree from here, but nobody has seen him in quite some time. Um, okay. This is very, very awkward. <laughs> I feel very awkward right now talking to this elf. If anyone wishes to find me, they can do so by seeking my temple. Yours truly, Ugslidurian Din Atherdrib. What? Excuse me, sir, what is your name? Listen, how about this? I will call you UDDUD. -D -D. You will now be referred to as Udud. 
This parkour is making my brain hurt. Yeet! Oh, I just did it. Let's go, baby. Okay, now we gotta go into the window. Easy peasy. Look at these magical wooden planks. It looks so cool. Now we go back. What is this? All right, I'm gonna do up, down, down, up, down. Up! Oh, what is happening? Bruh, I just got teleported to the Elf King. What in the heck just happened? You have done well to seek me out in my realm. What is it that you seek? IDK a bow recipe? Oh gosh, I just spoke in all caps. I'm one of those trolls. I will instill upon you the knowledge you desire. Sacred elven knowledge learned. Cool, but what? That was a lot of work to get that bow, but ladies and gentlemen, check it out. I promised you it was worth the wait and check it out. We got that good, good magic elven bow worth a thousand dollars cash, by the way. The power, the flower of life. <laughs> When holding this bow, your regeneration doubles. That's actually sick. Green poison. Mobs will get a 25% chance to be trapped in a cage of leaves. Pressing F will cause us to shoot cows that explode for a short period of time. <laughs> oh, why did I make this bow? This is, uh, this is why Sunny doesn't want you to know, guys. All right, we are now on the fifth border, ladies and gentlemen. The purple portal, before we've got the green and the blue to final to finish this video out. I'm pretty ex oh my gosh, this looks kind of scary. No matter how scary it might be, <laughs> at least you're not shooting exploding cows. Look at this. This is so stupid. I love it. What is this? I got dirt, a water bucket, some lava, glass block, and the five escape before the water reaches the top. What? What? What if, okay, what if this blue grave gets the blue bucket? We got the lava bucket for this one. And then uh, glass over here? I'm gonna give this one the glass. And I'm gonna give this one the dirt. Did it work? It did work! <gasps> I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> oh, that was actually kind of funny. Oh, what is this? Some new room just so what is in my hand? I've got a fire staff, a water staff, an air staff, and an earth staff. And then of course I've got the, oh, this is the recipe. I'm such a bot. We now have everything required. We have everything required to make this ridiculous bow. We have the, fi these are the, f okay, we got light fibers, sturdy fibers, ether fragments on the top. We got silver staffs over here next to the ether fragments. Water staff, earth staff, air staff, Fire staff. And we got it, baby. Yo, what is this bow? Put my chicken nuggets in the blender and call me Harold. The bow of the five Kingsmen. Oh my gosh. So apparently you can cycle through all different elemental powers by pressing F. That's sick. Oh my God. That's the arrow of earth. Look at the earth. The arrow of earth. Oh my gosh. I'm literally damaged. Oh my gosh. I am breaking my server. Okay, let's just put the battery in there. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's the water effect. I've literally just flooded this building. Oh, what is this? Divine dragon bow recipe. That seemed way too easy. Oh, it's a, what? oh my gosh. It's a dropper room. I haven't done droppers in so long. Yo, oh, this is so easy. This is so easy. A caveman can do it. Now, what do we do? I'm just, oh, we've got a def, oh God. Okay, okay, I'm gonna use, um, can we get the water? I'm on the water one. Okay, this water bow should kill the blazes super easy. Yeah, that dropper gave me the black dragon scale. It's so dark, I can't even read the text. All right, is this one a little bit more difficult? Come on, you can't make these, these droppers are so easy. Oh, oh, big words. Oh, just kidding, it's still easy. If you have the arrow of air, you can literally fly. Like, I can literally fly when using the air arrow. It doesn't make any sense. Arrow of ether. I don't know what this one does, but it's making me lag. How about this arrow of earth? Oh, I love the earth arrow. Look at this. The spider's buried. I think I just buried that spider alive. Oh my gosh. What did I just do? I just launched myself in the sky. Oh, okay. We got the red dragon scale. There's like, I don't know how many dragon. We need a lot of dragon scales. Oh, it's another one. Look how easy. Yo, okay. Why are these droppers so easy? Oh, you think you guys think you got what it takes to kill me? Let's give him the ether arrow. 
Yeah, take this. Have we done? I don't think, have we done this one? I don't think we've done this one. This one looks, is this one hard? No, it's not. I did. Why are none of these droppers difficult? Like, they're way too easy. I'm just gonna stay on this air arrow because this arrow right here literally makes me unhittable by mobs. Slimes are dead. Now we've got the royal cotton grip. Bow grip used by the original king of the land. We finally have a dropper worthy of my skills. Okay, don't land on something. Oh my gosh, that was way too close. Um, what do I, uh, do I want to use? I don't feel like the arrow of fire does anything good. You know what I mean? I don't, oh my gosh, that enderman almost killed me. Go! Okay, last dropper. Come on, come on, come on. Last dropper. We've got what it takes. We've got what it takes. Oh my, that was literally this close. I was so close to dying there. Oh, my life, my life flashed before my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna use the, um, the arrows of fire because they look really cool. Although I still don't fully understand what they do. I think they deal damage. I really can't tell. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. It looks like they deal damage. I mean, it just killed all those skeletons. What have I done, dude? Look what, I, look what I've done to the lobby area. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. Boom. It was worth it though. We went through so much pain to do all those droppers, but we got it. Hold on, hold on. Check it out, baby. $100,000 bow of divine dragons. Oh my God, I'm so fast. I'm so, wait a second. I've got night vision two, jump boost four, slow falling four, and speed when wielding this bow. But when you stop wielding the bow, I'm slow. Put it out again. Look how fast I am. Let's go, dude. We're here. This is the last portal that we've got to accomplish before we beat the game. The final showdown. Okay, so what we're doing now is I'm literally... This is almost like Skywars. I've got a limited amount of time to collect the items needed for the last bow recipe, which is, of course, the million dollar Sunday bow. These are the items that we need, and I've got barely any of them, and I've got literally less than four minutes... But I've got a Lytra and rocket so I can fly to the islands, break the lucky blocks, and get everything that we need. I've been breaking so many blocks, and sometimes I get creepers, and it makes me sad. So this is this is getting ridiculous. I've looted so many islands, and I can only loot islands for so dadgum long. What is this? What is what is that? What is that? What did I just witness? Wait a second. Is that what the Bro, that's Sunday. What is what is Sunday doing over here? No, it's actually Sunday. <laughs> Yo, you really think you can kill me? Look at this. This guy. Oh my god, he actually does a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill myself. Holy guacamole! Hold on, where are you going? Where are you going? Yo, this is actually kind of rough, low key. Spirit of Time is on cooldown. I don't even know what it's talking about right now. Okay, so I've never elytrated around a map and also shot a bow and arrow at the same time. Let me tell you something. It's difficult. This ain't easy. I also can't see anything. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, here's what I do. I'm gonna get the high ground. Sunday, I've got the high ground. You stand no chance. <laughs> oh my god, half art. Oh, I've got half art. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him trying to snipe me. Look at this. Oh, wait, wait, he's dead. Wait, he had to have died. Hold on. I think we killed him. I got Sunday's platinum hat. I don't even know what this means. <laughs> what? Audience, it has been a long and beautiful journey with each and every one of you, but we finally have everything needed to make the final bow. Let go, baby. Check this out. Sunday's mythical million dollar bow, worth a million dollars. We've got the godly multi shot. Instead of firing one arrow, you fire 100. Total annihilation. Press F to obliterate every monster in a 20 block radius. Sunday's glasses. When holding this bow, you automatically equip Sunday's glasses. Wait, so you're telling me if I equip this bow, I get glass? <laughs> Look at those glasses. Wait, the bow has Sunday's head on it. I just realized that. Look at this. It wasn't kidding. It literally, okay. I shot the bow and arrow one time and it literally shoots a hundred arrows. Look at this. Every time you shoot the bow, 100 arrows come out of it. Look at this. This ain't clickbait. This is insanity. This is so many arrows. It's lagging my Minecraft. Look at all the arrows in the water. What the heck? But the best ability about the bow, if you're looking at mobs, you press F, they immediately get obliterated. Look at this. They just, they just get obliterated. <laughs> 
You don't even have to do anything. Today, we're crafting five god bows in Minecraft. One of them, which is so secret, I can't even show you guys because I don't even know what it is exactly. <laughs> We've got our elemental guide right here. He's gonna be showing us how to make them. I see you have come looking for the bows. And if you guys love these how to craft videos, make sure you smash that like button down below. Let's go for 100,000 likes. Check the chest and begin your journey by stepping through the portal. Aye, aye, Captain, what's in the chest? <gasps> We've got some iron gear, a godly bow warning message. Run away now, give up. We ain't running away baby come on and into the portal we go we should probably put our gear on before we go into the portal but it is now time for us to get that portal so this is where we go to collect the items required for the earth bow i'm actually really looking forward to this welcome to the temple of the ancient earth this is a secret elemental shrine it was hidden deep in the realm and i found it by accident okay that is so not epic how do you find this by accident <laughs> little do they know i am a parkour king in fact i was rated and voted the number one parkour king on YouTube. If you don't believe me, go check my YouTube comments. In fact, if you think I'm the parkour king, go ahead and comment down below. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like the ancient temple the guy is talking about. Oh yeah, that's gotta be a chief. Hold the phone. We've got magical tree roots, red mushroom, brown mushroom, emeralds, and god arrows. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I've never seen a god arrow, so I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, we have a six by six crafting bench. This is kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Avatar, The Last Airbender, but it's one of my favorite YouTube shows ever. And I actually really like the Earthbenders. I felt like the Earthbenders were always not the coolest or the most popular, but it was one of my favorite. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Earth bow. The Earth rises to your will. This is the fun part. This is where we get to demonstrate what the Earth bow is truly made of. So if you hold shift and look at any mob and you hit it, let's take that out. <laughs> If we shift and shoot a mob, it will literally explode. It doesn't matter how far you pull the bow back, the mob just explodes. And then the other feature will literally turn the ground up and down and watch what happens. It explodes and deals a crazy amount of damage. I'm sorry, cows, but I've got to demonstrate on you guys. Yeehaw! Uh oh, cows, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> no. Dude, these poor mushroom cows just got exploded. They no longer exist on this earth. Oh, we should test it out on the donkeys. Donkeys! Oh, these poor donkeys. Oh my gosh, these poor donkeys! <laughs> I just exploded like half of their flock. But we don't want to get too carried away on the earth bow because we still have four others to make. So let's get on to the next. The water bow, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, elemental guide. This is the shrine of Aquatus. The happiest seal that ever lived. This guy, he... No offense to the elemental guide, but he's really not doing a lot of work for us. He's just kind of telling us like, yeah, I think I saw a bow here like a hundred years ago or something like that, but I'm too nervous to go up there and check it out. I mean, come on, the least you could do is give me some fried chicken, maybe some potato chips or some chicken tenders, something like that to help us along our journeys. Or at least a map or something. Yo, we're literally lost. I have no idea where we're going right now. Okay, you know what that means? I'm blowing this temple up. God, dang, dang, you burger. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. No, no, this is not what I'm... Oh! Um, I don't think I was supposed to fall down here. <laughs> Yo, but... Wait a second. What is... Okay, suspicious lever. You sense a shift in the temple. Maybe you can get inside now. See, this is to everybody, including my wife, who says you can't fix life by blowing stuff up. Sometimes you can. Oh, okay. This is a very suspicious looking entrance, by the way. The water bow better be worth it because I feel like we've gone through so much trial and error just to get over here. Oh, wait, I'm seeing a door. There is a door here. Oh, with the water... Okay, how do I get... You guys... Thinking what up? They just blow this door up, baby. Wait, can we blow it up? Oh, oh, come on. No, 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 no. I need to blow this door up. No! No, <laughs> come on! Wait, wait. It worked! We actually blew the entrance. Let's go! Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. While Rise in the background fixes my mistake, go ahead and take your phone, turn it like this, make that red subscribe button as gray as a cloud that's full of water. Thank you. And would you look at that because you subscribed? It's fixed. 
I don't know how I'm feeling. Okay, so I'm not trying to be that guy or anything, but I feel like the water bow, you know, it's like the least cool. I'm not trying to be mean or be a bully to the water bow. I'm just saying, like, water bending wasn't my favorite in Avatar The Last Airbender. There was way other cool things, but I am interested to see the special abilities of the water bow, which apparently can control the seas and glaciers. We're gonna pop that water bow into our inventory. We've got now two out of five of the bows. If you shoot the water bow regularly, it creates sources of water, which actually could be really helpful if you're fighting somebody and they're running towards you and then you slow them down with water. If you hold shift, it spawns water around you, charges the bow up. Oh, here it is. Oh, it like creates this ice prison around everything. Oh my gosh, do you hear that? They're suffocating inside of there. So that means it's, wait, is it hollow? Is, oh, ow, okay, the pandas are attacking me. Oh, it creates a non-hollow ice structure suffocating anything inside of it. Let's do it again. Oh, okay, the water bow might be a little bit more overpowered than the earth bow. I need you guys to help me decide. Personally, I'm most excited for this one. This is the air bow. As you can tell, I did think that airbenders in the Avatar show was definitely the coolest type of elemental bending you could do. Okay, what's the elemental guide saying? He's like, I tried to teleport as close as I could to the air bow, but it must be up higher. See if you can find a way. Dude, this guy is no help. I wish we could shoot the elemental guide and just get rid of him. Wait, can I hold on? I'm gonna try something real quick. Can we just, then we can, we can take out the elemental guide. Yes, yes. Come on, come on elemental guide. My gosh, how big is this cloud? Oh, any last words elemental guide? Not bad, but not good enough. Good, oh my God. He fell so fast. Thanks to the water bow, I think the best way for us to climb these clouds is actually to use our water bow because we can create water sources that hopefully, I need you, no water sources. Okay, the water sources are supposed to come down towards us. There we go. I feel bad, dude. I kind of bad mouthed the water bow and I shouldn't have because the water bow right now is actually coming in mad clutch for us. The question is, which cloud actually has the air bow? Because there are so many different clouds right now. The water bow, by far, I'm taking it back. It's better than the earth bow because the earth bow can't, like it can't be used in terms of like utility. Does that make sense? The last cloud we must climb before we reach the, oh, what the heck is, okay, this, I almost went up those water streams and I think I would have died. Oh, do I really have to jump for this? <laughs> there it is. I think I see the air temple. That's gotta be it. This has got to be the air temple. I'm going to flood it with water. Come here, air temple. I'm coming for you, brother. I'm going to ooga booga them toes, homie. Let me swim up this water thanks to the new aquatic update. And this is, okay, this is, this, 100%, this is the air temple with the air bow. Where are you at, air bow? Come over here. This has got to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, the air bow. The ingredients required, wind of the tornado, diamonds, nether stars, and dragon breath potions. <sighs> Another six by six crafting recipe. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna put the tornadoes. It looks like they go right here. We're gonna need four diamonds. And then we're of course gonna need our two dragon breath potions. And then finally, our four nether stars, which are gonna go right here, here, and over here. And we now have the air bow. By holding this, you have tamed the wind. Does this mean I am now Avatar The Last Airbender? Because I feel like it should. Oh, look at this. Okay, dude, check this out. With the air bow, you literally can become an airbender. You can fly. All you have to do is hold the shift key. And if you let go of it, I think... Yep, you fall, but then you can just press it right again and it lasts infinitely. You don't even need arrows. And while you're in the air, you can still shoot people. And I just created a tornado. <laughs> Wait a second. Did I just create a real tornado? So I can create tornadoes while flying in the sky. Wait, what happens if I go inside the tornado? Do I die? Okay, thankfully it looks like if you have the wind bow, you do not get sucked up into the tornado, but Oh, you can dual wield the bows. So I've got the water bow and, okay, hold on, I'm gonna try this. Ready for this, guys? We're gonna do a hot swap. Yeet. Oh, oh I don't, I did it. And yeetimus. 
Okay, I hate to switch sides, but at this moment in time, the air bow is winning. The water bow and the earth bow just can't keep up. But y'all know this next one's my favorite. As the owner of PrestonStyles.com. Wait, what are these? Blazes? Get out of here. You guys really want to try? Okay, that's it. Water bow it is. Oh, get wrecked. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take you all out. Actually, I'm taking a lot of damage. I might need to eat some apples. Oh, let's, let's use our air bow and let's fly out of here. All right, I don't know. Do we have to kill all these blazes? What is going on? I didn't even get to finish my sentence. Take this. Eat a vortex. Vortex is for everybody. Yes. Anyways, as I was saying, as the owner of PrestonStyles.com, the world's hottest merchandise, I love fire. Plus, my character is made of fire as I'm currently burning. Uh, we need to find out where to go. I see a big sign right here that says, turn back now. And I'm starting to think maybe I should, oh no, oh no. Oh, how did I not die right there? Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, the secret, you blazes were trying to distract me. Didn't work out, did it, huh? Okay, they actually do a pretty good amount of damage, so I shouldn't be talking too much smack. Let's just, I'm gonna ignore the blazes for now. I don't really need them. Wait, wait, it's literally right here? That's it? Are you kidding? <laughs> Wait, okay, so we need the essence of the gods. The essence of the sun. It burns in my eyes. Then we've got eight gold ingots and four lava buckets. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and take all these items. Scoop, 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 scoop. Essence of the sun go down here. We've got the two gold ingots right here. The lava buckets definitely go right here like this. Nether, dude, nether stars are literally in every single crafting recipe. And thus, we have the power of 10,000 blazes, ladies and gentlemen, at our fingertips. I'm assuming we go through this portal. All right, that's it. We're testing this bad boy out. Oh, streams of lava are created wherever you fire the bow. This is sick. And if you try to touch any lava or fire, the bow consumes them before it can damage you at all. Look at this. This is insane. You've never seen a bow in Minecraft do this, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you. Oh my gosh, this is epic. On top of that, if you do shift while you fire the bow, watch this, yeet. Everything turns the fire around you, damaging the enemies. Take this. Oh my dude, this is so cool. This is probably one of my favorite bows. Although it still can't make you fly like the air bow. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the final bow. We still don't even have the name of the new bow until we craft it. But it looks like we have to use our pre-existing bows and combine them all into one. Dude, I'm not even ready for this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of scared. Okay, here it is. Essence of the gods. Four golden ingots, two diamonds, four nether stars. And finally, the special ingredients. Fire bow, air bow, water bow, and the earth bow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the aether bow. I would never have guessed the name of the bow. What the heck? is the Aether Bow. Oh my, yo, this bow is the sickest looking bow I've ever seen in Minecraft. Have you ever seen a bow this detailed or cool in Minecraft? I didn't think so. And now I don't know how the elemental guide is still alive, but he told me to go through this portal and destroy his enemy's house. How do we know if this is truly his enemy? We don't know, but I really want to test out the abilities of the Aether Bow regardless. Okay, let's see what this thing is made of, baby. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 look at the ground. Look at the ground, it, uh, lightning, fire, destruction. It's like all of the bows combined into one. Oh, dude, this bow should be illegal. Apparently, if you shoot a mob with the Aether Bow, everybody gets hit with lightning. So unfortunately, we're gonna test it on Bob the Villager. Oh, oh, what just happened? Wait, wait, um, okay. This bow is so powerful, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm not even strong enough to use the Aether Bow, ladies and gentlemen. That is how strong the Aether Bow is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here today on the YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be crafting ourselves a $10,000 bow. So why don't we just go ahead and jump straight into it? Oh, hi. Oh, no. It's you again. Yes, it's me again. Oh, so you want to play another map? Yes, I do. Well, you see, it's it's not quite done. Wait, what? It's not done? Don't worry. I'm already working on it. We'll only take a minute or so. What the heck does this mean? Okay, so this time, whoa, there's sound effects as well. $1 bow versus $10,000 bow. Do you remember my 5x5 crafting from last time? Of course I do. Yeah, it's back again. But 
That shouldn't be a problem for you, right? I don't know, will it? Well, I'm almost ready. Well, I'm excited to play this, Mr. Freddy. Okay, I'm not sure what is happening right now, but guys, the map is basically populating itself. By the way, if you have not seen us do the other version of this map where we made a $10,000 sword, you gotta check it out. There should be an in screen somewhere on the screen that you could click on or somewhere down below in the description. And what the heck is going on? There's a portal that is opening down below. This is getting to be way too much. We are going inside of a spooky portal. Portal, and it's lagging my recording software. I'm quite terrified right now. Oh, we are inside of that spooky portal. What the heck? Okay, this is where we are starting. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to see me craft more ridiculous items, comment down below how much the item should be, what the item should be, as well as leaving a like down below if you guys have been enjoying these crafting video recipe things. Judging from the views on our previous episodes, you guys have absolutely loved it. Almost 5 million views on how to craft a pickaxe. What the heck? And then almost 3 million views on how to craft a $10,000 sword. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. If we keep getting the crazy amount of views and likes that these episodes have been getting, we're going to just keep doing more and more. And I would love to take more suggestions from you guys down below in the comments on what we should craft next. All right, guys, back to the action. So we are inside of some kind of cave system, and I see we have two crafting benches here. One of the, oh my gosh, it's a super crafting bench. It's a five by five crafting bench. And then, of course, we have a three by three crafting bench next to it. Now we've got glass bottles over here. And then over here, oh my gosh, guys. We just found some insane crafting recipes. Let's open these in our hand. What is this? This is a blaze bone, which it looks like we need to craft. This is a mushroom block. Oh, this is the $10,000 bow. Okay, so we need a blaze bone. It looks like a wither bone, some kind of crazy potions. And of course, we're also gonna need the mushroom block recipe. And okay, so this is the wither bone. I'm gonna keep these in our inventory just so I can have them all handy damn demand. I love the five by five crafting bench. To me, it's like one of the coolest things ever. I see a name tag over there and I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, oh, that's what that is. So this is how we summon a spider. You know what? I don't think I'm ready to summon the spider yet, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't have any gear. Look at this. I'm as naked as the day I was born. And look, there's nothing wrong with being naked except for when the fact is when you're fighting yourself some other kind of monsters. It's not a good thing to be naked. All right, now we're gonna get out of that awkward conversation about talking about being naked. Oh my God, why did you have to do that? You just scared me so much. What, what is your problem, dragon head? I don't even know why you exist. Can I do something to you? Can I calm you down? Okay, okay, I'm scared and I'm dying. I'm scared and, okay, you know what? We're about to die, so we're just gonna, we're gonna back up from the dragon for now. Maybe we're not supposed to go here just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mosey myself onto a separate area where hopefully the dragon will not kill me. Guys, this map is absolutely huge and amazing. So it looks like we found an area where we can summon a blaze and summon a ghast. Although I have yet to find anything else that we need. We cannot kill a ghast and all this stuff without any kind of items. Oh, great. Okay, now we've got 11 feathers. I wonder if this is to make arrows or something. Oh, actually, wait, maybe we're supposed to collect some of this stuff. Oh, guys, I think we might be... Yep, I think we might need to collect some of these. Is there anything in the water? I want to double check. Oh, okay, there's the map creator's head. That was sneaky of you. I didn't think you'd be hiding inside of it. So I'm looking at the recipe right now, and I'm seeing if there's anything that we need. So of course, we're going to need a ton of mushrooms, and we need an emerald block. Where the heck are we going to get ourselves an emerald block? I don't know. And then it looks like we also need magma blocks. We need chorus fruit and a lava buckets. We've got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna start off by, you know, I guess just getting a bunch of mushrooms. <gasps> what the heck? A silverfish just spawned? Why is there a silverfish here? I don't even know. How did you spawn, buddy? I don't know, but he just gave us experience, and I'm not sure if we wanted that. Maybe he's just supposed to spawn to do damage to us. I don't know, but silverfish, look, it's not that I don't love you guys, but I don't have a weapon, so I can't currently fight against you guys, so it's a little bit annoying. So if you could not do damage to me, I really appreciate that. I'm just trying to collect some mushrooms out here, all right? What is this? I just got myself grass dots, and I have no idea what those do. I hope we need some of the sugar cane because I'm collecting it regardless. And the weird thing is, guys, we have the crafting recipe for the $10,000 bow, but we don't know what the other bows are. Although I don't think we have to craft other bows. I mean, we probably should craft ourselves at least like some kind of really bad sword. You know what I'm saying? Because we have nothing right now to defend ourselves. And somehow we have to craft iron because we need to get a lava bucket. Oh. <sighs> 
This explains where we are able to get all the other items. <laughs> I really should have realized that a whole lot sooner. I realize that I am not the sharpest tool in the shed, guys, okay? But please, bear with me here. I'm just a little bit of a Minecraft noob. Oh, see, I didn't even see this. There's a ladder, which I apparently just avoided using completely for some reason. Let's go ahead and put ourselves down here a crafting bench. I know it's not a fancy 5x5 five five crafting bench, but it's gonna have to do for now. Now, we need to basically continue to mine things and upgrade things. Now, there was a furnace back upstairs, which I don't know if it wants me to use. Oh, actually, can already upgrade to the next pickaxe. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna make ourselves a furnace. We're gonna be a little bit naughty. I'm not supposed, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be making my own furnace, but I, you know, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do because I do what I do. We need to start smelting iron. Okay, look, there's those pesky little silver fishes again. Oh, no. Okay, there's multiple pesky silver fish. Stay back, you demons. No, we do not want any of that. In you go there, iron. Now, okay, I was really hoping that it was gonna smelt extremely fast, but of course, we're playing vanilla Minecraft, so it's not gonna smelt super fast. I stepped on buttons. So there's not only grass dots, but then there's there's stones and they make a click sound. I don't know if that's new to 1.13, but I've never seen that before. It's kind of cool. Our three iron is now finished. Now, once again, we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves an iron pickaxe. Now we can start getting diamonds. The nice thing about diamonds is that we ain't gotta smelt it. So all we gotta do is boom, a doom, boom, and then bam. I think we actually have everything we need to create that crazy mushroom that we needed. I don't know about you guys, but every time I play Minecraft, I never get this lucky with how many diamonds and emeralds that are laying around because they are seriously everywhere right now. We do need to make some fighting gear because we gotta fight. We gotta kill skeletons, blazes, gas. We gotta kill a bunch of different mobs to get the ingredients that we need right now. And I know that we need a lava bucket. That's why I wanna smelt some, uh, obviously smelt some iron. So let's get that iron right there. Let's take a look at these crafting recipes again. So it looks like to get this, we're gonna need gunpowder and we're gonna need uh, blaze powder. Obviously we gotta kill blaze and skeletons for that. Did I say blazing skeletons? I mean, we gotta kill blazes and we gotta kill creepers with that. So we have everything we need to craft this bad boy. I'm not even looking at that right now. We need chorus fruit, we need magma blocks, and we need lava. And I know just the place to get these. Although right now, before we do anything, let's just go ahead and be complete savages and let's make ourselves a whole mess of diamond gear. You know what I'm saying? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and make ourselves a lava bucket right there, nice and tidy. Now let's go climb back upstairs and go to that five by five. It's, it's like basically a super crafting bench. And it's also not only a super crafting bench, but it's super awesome, and I'm also going the super wrong way. Two thousand years later. All right, so now inside of this super crafting bench, we want to make sure that we have this guy up inside of here. So it looks like it's surrounded by all kinds of mushrooms and an emerald block. And I'm also really stupid and only got seven emeralds, so I gotta go back and get some more emeralds. A few inches later. There we go. I am much less stupid this time and decided to actually get a bunch of extras just in case we managed to need it. So I'm gonna make myself not one, but two emerald blocks. And now we're gonna take our emerald blocks. We're gonna place them down in the middle. Red mushrooms go like this. And then these mushrooms Rooms, I want to say it was like bam, 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 skabam. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the enchanted mushroom block. Whoa, and it just made a really loud sound. Okay, Enchanted Mushroom Block has been completed, but that is not it, ladies and gentlemen. We have so many other items to get. The next one is going to be our Wither Skeleton Bone, which it looks like we need to kill ghasts, creepers, and then, of course, blazes. Oh, the one thing I do remember that we needed is that we needed Chorus Fruit, so hopefully... How do I get Chorus Fruit? Okay, guys, I know you're judging me right now, and you're like, Preston, you're such a pleb, but I know Chorus Fruit looks different. Guys, I have literally forgotten how to get Chorus Fruit. Oh, this is bad. I'm only getting Chorus Flowers. Okay, maybe it's something to do with this guy. Do I have to kill him? Okay, he does a lot of damage. Can I kill him? No, you can't. I don't understand what is the purpose of this dragon. Like, I feel like I need his head. Give me your head, whimsical dragon. You won't... This stupid dragon. I don't even want to talk to him anyways. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna summon a bunch of spiders. I think one thing we needed actually is a bunch of strings, so I'm gonna collect some of that. I'm gonna summon some spiders. Look, we need to kill a lot more than just a few spiders, okay? We need a lot of spiders. I think this might be for the potion recipe. I don't even know. This bow is much more complex than the sword. The sword was a lot easier than this one, but I like this one a lot more. And it does, it does not look like he's hidden anything anywhere. Everything is kind of like right in the open for you, so you don't have to worry about that, which is kind of nice. Okay, we now have collected a pretty good amount of spider eyes. We've definitely got a lot of string from these spiders. Hey, what is it? What is this? Basalt. What is basalt? Is that a new 113 Minecraft? I've never seen that before. Maybe that is a part of some of the crafting recipes that we need, ladies and gentlemen. And what is this? Prismarine bricks. Okay, that is not prismarine. That is uh, that is nether brick, but that uh, that's okay. We're not gonna... Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, that right there is nether wart bro block. I've never seen this in my entire life. Oh, yeah. One thing we needed is we need to scoop 
up some lava and trying to scoop it up without dying. All right, eh. All right, scoop that up. And then we also do need a lot of these blocks. Well, I don't think we need a lot of these blocks, but I think we need a decent amount. So I'm going to try to get some without dying over here. So if we go back to our crafting recipe, see, I th it looks like gunpowder, but it also doesn't look like gunpowder. Like, I'm wondering if it's if it's technically something else. You know, is is it technically something else? I don't know. But let's go ahead and summon the Blaze right now, because that's one of the things we got to kill. We got to kill a lot of these guys. Come over here, Blaze. I don't know how many of these guys we need, but we need a decent amount. So we're just going to keep chopping away. All right, they're going to keep smacking me, and so I'm going to keep smacking them. Yeah, get that smacking in. So we need two Blaze Powder for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself two Blaze Powder. That should be enough. Wait, hey, what the heck? Give me that Blaze Powder. There we go. Blaze Powder quiet. And then the final product does require a regular blaze rod and string and a bunch of other things too, but we already have that. So the big thing is I need to know, is this gunpowder? And if this is gunpowder, where do we get the gunpowder from? All right, I'm gonna build myself a bridge. We need to spawn this ghast in and try not to die. Oh my gosh, it's a big ghast. Hello, ghast. Oh God, I'm falling in the lava. This is bad, this is bad. Not a great way to start off killing this ghast. Oh. Well, that was probably the easiest gas tier I've ever collected in my entire life. I did not expect it to go that way, but I'm kind of glad it did. I swear I saw an area towards the beginning where we can spawn wither skeletons, because that's one thing we need to do. It's up and above. That's why I didn't notice it. I See, I was like, how are we going to get gunpowder? How are we going to get all this wither skeleton stuff? This makes so much more sense, although we need to be careful not to get hit by this. Yes. Wither skeleton bone dust, ladies and gentlemen. So it wasn't gunpowder. I knew it wasn't gunpowder. I knew it was something else. So we need to get a pretty good chunk of this. So just in case, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to kill myself a nice, healthy amount of these skeletons just in case we end up messing something up. I mean, come on. My name is Preston Plays, and as you know, I do end up messing things up from time to time. Probably more quite frequently than just time to time. So, oh, this guy dropped a lot. Okay, I think we actually can craft one of the recipes already. We need six for the wither bone, which we now have, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm feeling good right now. Also, I'm really dumb, but I remember to get chorus fruit. All you have to do is break the actual plant itself, I believe. And yep, there, that's how you get chorus fruit. I, I don't know why I forgot about that. Let's let's just not talk about that, okay? It's been a long time since I've played me some Minecraft. I, for some reason, thought I needed to break the flower directly, okay? I'm not the smartest. I'm not the smartest, right? We've already gone over this. Stop, stop, stop being mean to me. I'm sure we had a lot of people down below in the comments like, ugh. Preston. I know, I did it to myself as well. For now, we're gonna start off with this recipe, which means we can just do the doodad right there, and the dad right there, and the bad bam, spread bam. Oh, this is handy. I didn't even realize you could kind of keep it open for you right there. A little bit of a cheat sheet, if you know what I'm saying. All right, we're gonna put this right here, and then we're gonna put our gas in, but boom! We now have a wither skeleton bone, which is amazing. Now, other than the wither skeleton bone, we now need to get this, and it's the blaze bone. And I think for the blaze bone, I'm gonna need my magma blocks and my lava buckets, and I think that should be about everything I'm gonna need right there. So, uh, because I got a small brain, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this open, and we've got four cores fruit. I think we got everything we need. Very similar fashion to the previous thing we just crafted right there, ladies and gentlemen. And kabam! We got the blaze bone! So now we've got the wither bone, we've got the blaze bone, we've got the enchanted mushroom block. So now we can go back to the original recipe, and now what we need is we need a stick. We need two fermented spider eyes. We pretty much have everything that we need except those potions, which I think I have an idea on how to get that. I think that is dragon's breath. And in order to do this, we have to go back to that dragon head, which I was so confused about at the beginning. But what you want to do is you want the dragon to breathe. And then we want to collect and harvest his breath. And yep, just like that, we now have dragon's breath, ladies and gentlemen. I think we are just about to craft this bow. I'm so excited. Oh, we're missing two fermented spider eyes, which will be really, really easy for us to do. And yeah, you guessed it. I forgot how to make a fermented spider eye. So I may or may not have Googled it real fast. But thankfully, I think I've got everything I need. We need sugar, and then we need brown mushrooms. I, I don't know if it can be regular mushrooms, but and nope, looks like you have to do it with brown mushrooms. Very interesting. I did not know that. I'm such a noob. I know. I'm sorry. All right, so this crafting recipe is a little bit more intense. I believe we've got the sticks. We need to get an extra blaze rod. No, we already have that. I don't think there's anything in here that we're actually lacking, so let's get straight to crafting it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited right now. Okay, boom. Boom. Yeah, put the boom right there, and then the boom boom, and then the boom, and shkabloom, and shklabam, and now kalabatikam. Guys, there it is! The $10,000 bow in Minecraft! Can we get some hype down below in the comments? This thing looks amazing. I am so excited for this! 
Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You did it. This is your brand new $10,000 bow. Check out chat to see what it can do. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, it makes you invulnerable. Then incredibly powerful arrows makes you more agile, which I'm assuming by more agile, it means it gives you speed because, oh yeah, we definitely have some form of speed. Here's, here's me running without the bow. Yeah, pretty slow. Here's me running with the bow. Pretty much like supersonic speed. Other than that, if we jump, we can cycle between different types of projectiles on our arrows. Oh my gosh. So there's normal arrows with incredible power, explosive arrows, thunder arrows, breaking arrows, arrows that break blocks. We've got a trident thrower, which throws tridents. Fireball cannon shoots a lot of fireballs and then the chicken shooter because why not? So we're gonna start off with the first one So if you jump it changes the different types of uh, projectiles. So we're gonna start off with really normal strong arrows and uh, Okay, this uh, that's uh, that's kind of overpowered. I want to see well first of all We're supposed to be invulnerable. So I think right now we won't take any damage. So uh, yeah I didn't even mean to do that. This bow is so dadgum amazing. I'm so impressed right now. That was the fireball effect, which I, I keep forgetting when you jump, it does that. I did not mean to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn in a ton of withers. So we've got the normal arrows on, right? So look at this. Look at that, it's like a machine gun, but with arrows. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. And then if we cycle it again, this is explosive arrows, which, uh, oh yeah. Pretty flippin' awesome if I do say my, oh yeah, this is pretty dope. And like the thing is you just fire them so fast like you just hold the right click button and it just explodes and does all this kind of damage. We've got thunder arrows, which uh, I think it's gonna, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, man. <laughs> breaking arrows. So this is the one that's supposed to break blocks. And oh my gosh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We're literally just breaking all the blocks around us. <laughs> this is so cool. I feel really bad though, because I'm breaking the entire map. Oh my gosh, I'm farming. I'm actually mining with it. There's like all these, di okay, there's a lot of silver fish. You guys know what to do. We're going to try out the trident thrower and all these silver fish. Oh my gosh. It's just throwing a million bajillion tridents everywhere. We must use this to eliminate all the silver fish. Sorry, silverfish. It's not looking so hopeful for you guys. I really, really do apologize, but I wanted to test out my new bow. I hope you guys understand. So I think we might have tested out almost everything. I've showed you guys the fireball cannon. Probably one of my favorites. Wait, we haven't tested out the chicken shooter yet. Oh my gosh, the chicken shooter? What is this? It literally just shoots out of a bajillion chickens. What is the point? Okay, chicken shooter makes no sense. Uh, now what about this one? I wanna do the fireball cannon. Oh, this poor silverfish. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. So the fireball, probably one of my favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, this bow is amazing. Comment down below what's your favorite different projectile. I gotta say my favorite's probably gonna be between the breaking arrows or the fireball arrows. Because if you just look at the breaking arrows, how amazing is it that you can just break the map, mine resources, and also kill other mobs by just breaking stuff. It's amazing. The explosive arrows are pretty cool too. I like the fact that you can spawn in creepers and blow stuff up. Then again, probably the ones that are gonna do the most damage, I feel like are the thunder arrows because thunder does a ton of damage. But I want you guys also comment down below, what is your favorite item that I've crafted so far? Was it the $10,000 sword? Was it the $10,000 bow? Or was it the $1,000 pickaxe? Let me know down below in the comments. Have a wonderful fun. Save day, everybody. Take care. Have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody.